on the 7th of January 2023, there's going to be a full moon, but it's also going to be a micro moon. So what is a micro moon and how is that different to something like a super moon? Well, let's first go back to the lunar cycle. So the lunar cycle relates to the orbit of the moon around the Earth in relation to the sun. So as it goes around the Earth, as we look at it out to the moon, it will appear to be illuminated in different phases. So sometimes it will be completely illuminated, which would be a full moon. Other times it's not illuminated at all, which would be a new moon. And then you have various different phases in between. But it relates to its orbit around the Earth and the light from the sun is then reflected back to us. So what we see illuminated. Now, the lunar phase is 29.5 days. So that relates to its orbit around the Earth and it being fully illuminated all the way back around to being fully illuminated again. And that is just under 30 days. So the full moon is when the moon is on the opposite side of Earth to the sun. So if it's on the opposite side of Earth to the sun, then the face facing towards the Earth is always going to be fully illuminated. And that would be a full moon. On the opposite side, when it's between the Earth and the Sun, the face facing towards Earth can't have any light from the Sun because it's on the opposite side. So actually, in that case there, you get the new moon, which is actually when there's no sunlight reflecting back off it at all. And then as it goes round, then you get various different phases in between as well. Now, the other important thing is that the moon's orbit is elliptical. So it's not a perfect circle. It is elliptical. Um, with elliptical orbits, you have parts where it's closest to the Earth and parts where it's furthest away. So at perigee, this is the closest point to Earth. So here in the sky, the moon is going to appear bigger because it's actually physically closer. So here you would have a supermoon. And this is where the moon appears its largest in the sky. Now, the opposite of that is when the moon is at the apogee. And that is the furthest location from Earth on its elliptical orbit. And because of that, because it's the furthest away it can be on its orbit, it's going to appear at its smallest. So here you would be it would be known as a micro moon. So the opposite of a super moon is a micro moon. That is when it appears the smallest in the sky. So. But also it relates to the phase of the moon and the orbit of the moon and the orbit of the Earth, because as the Earth orbits around the sun, that elliptical orbit of the moon doesn't necessarily directly align to the, the phase or the lunar phase. So a full moon doesn't always occur at the same point on its elliptical orbit because the Earth is moving as well. So, for example, yeah, so the, the full moon is going to vary different points. So we may have a supermoon when it is a full moon at the um, perigee and then the opposite way around when we have a micro moon, but, and then it varies at different points as well. So the direct comparison between the two, so this is a size comparison between a supermoon and a micro moon, and that's the apparent size difference between the two, as we may see it in our sky. So you can see that the supermoon is obviously quite a bit bigger than the micro moon. And if you go and have a look at either one of those, you should be able to see a reasonably obvious difference in size between those two. Now, on the 7th of January 2023, the full moon is going to occur when it's at its furthest away point on its orbit from Earth. And this will be a micro moon. So on the 7th of January 2023, the full moon is going to appear quite small because it's actually the furthest away location to Earth that it can have. So not quite as exciting maybe as a supermoon, but it will appear relatively small to what it might do normally. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoy, then check out some of the other videos.